Zayn Malik is leaving One Direction after five years with the group. Niall, Harry, Liam, and Louis will continue as a four piece and look forward to the forthcoming concerts of their world tour and recording their fifth album, due to be released later this year. Rumors about such a move had started since Malik left the band's tour last week. At the time, he had been signed off with stress after a scandal erupted following the publication of a photo showing Malik holding hands with someone other than his fiance. One music fan in the UK wants Kanye West out of the Glastonbury Festival so bad he started a petition to make it happen. In his petition, the music fan describes the rapper as egotistical, maniacal, and a disgrace. He calls on organizers to replace the singer at the Glastonbury Festival this summer. West is booked to headline the festival, which runs between June 24th through the 28th. Kanye West is an insult to music fans all over the world, the fan says in the Change.org petition. The petition has now over 80,000 signatures. 55-year-old A.J. Perro from the band Twisted Sister has died. The drummer died Friday of a suspected heart attack in his sleep. A.J. was on tour with the band called Adrenaline Mob when the heart attack occurred. Perro joined Twisted Sister, best known for their 1984 song, We're Not Gonna Take It, an accompanying comedic video in 1982. Though he left for a time in 1987 to join another band, he reunited with Twisted Sister in the 1990s and was with the band for the past 12 years. Suge Knight collapsed in court Friday shortly after a judge set his bail at $25 million in a murder case. His attorney indicated that such a bail was probably higher than his client could post. Knight bent over his chair at the defense table with his attorney beside him and two deputies rushed to him as he was face down. Reportedly, Knight hit his head on a chair and knocked himself out. Knight, who suffers from diabetes and complications, was taken to the hospital. The 49-year-old Knight has pleaded not guilty to several charges for a allegedly running over two men, killing one of them in January after an argument. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. That's your entertainment this week.